Star Wars. The Empire Strikes Back. Return of the Jedi. Your last chance to own the original Star Wars is almost gone. Buy it today or lose it forever. Strange things happen every day. Events that demand investigation. I'm Agent Fox Mulder. This is Agent Dana Scully. We're with the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Some defy logic. That still doesn't explain how an eight-year-old girl can kill two grown men. Others are too fantastic to be believed. Do you believe in the existence of extraterrestrials? But most disturbing are those incidents too dangerous to be revealed. Listen to me, Scully. This thing exists. But how do you... The know? government knows about it. And I gotta know what they're protecting. Are you familiar with the so-called X-Files? I believe they have to do with unexplained phenomena. Oh, my God. I just had something incredibly strange happen. The government knows about it, you know. They're even in on it sometimes. They work together. They're coming again. I can feel it. We found something in the forest. What am I on to? We're talking about dark network, a government within a government, controlling our every move. Now we're alone on this. There's no one we can trust. We're here conducting an investigation. I have a male and a female who've identified themselves. Oh, yeah. Hold it! Whoa! Experience the X-Files. Mrs. Ryan, are you saying that Councilman Whalen ought to be held criminal and liable? 
Listen, all I'm saying is if the shoe fits, the councilman may have to wear it. Uh, Mr. Ryan, I'd like to ask you one yeah. last question. You know, he's finished talking. Get the car done. Get it all Councilman is the one who's going to be sick. Maybe if you checked into the hospital. Not until we nail Will. There's lots of Willens, but only one Peggy Ryan. Thank God, I don't think the world could take two of us. Cut it. Let's get some beers and go for a ride. I can't miss any more classes. How about after school, then? My mom's sick. Your mom's always sick, Charlie. That's not her fault. She could hardly get out of bed this morning. Let her stay in bed. She needs me. I need you. I've got to go. Please. I know you loved it. I like the way you giggled last time. Just not now, OK? Mike. You fail half the exams, and then you cut my class. All I need is a couple more days. Rules are rules, Charlie. If you don't do the work, you don't graduate. No more games. No, I'll finish. I, I promise. From what I hear, you're not doing too well in English either. What's going on? Nothing. I, I guess I'm just not very smart. Plenty smart. He did fine last semester. You still working that job after school? I'll be late for biology. I swear, two days. that you would go. If I don't pass history, I don't graduate. This is getting real old, Charlie. You never want to go anywhere anymore. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm or you agree and then you break the date. I was really counting on you for this one. Why don't you ask Lisa? Because Lisa's not my friend. You are. Or were. Hey, Lisa! You learned a joke? Is that who's there? Who's there? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm a funny guy. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. We need 20,000 signatures to get on the ballot. We don't have the money. Well, let me worry about that. Take your pill. Hello? Oh, yes, Mr. Dalton. Yes, she's right here. It's the electric company. Get the vacuum. Hello, Mr. Dalton. Yes. <laughs> now, I have to look at my checkbook. What? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. No, I think it's on my side. The, the phone company said they'd be out to, to fix it soon. I'm sorry. I'll call you tomorrow. Sweetheart, you think that you could throw together something for dinner? You don't always have to feed us. This is an Irish household. Nobody goes home hungry, right? No. Right. We haven't got much. I'm sure you'll make it delicious. Let me know. All we have is macaroni and cheese. Oh, I love macaroni and cheese. You're lucky to have a mother like that. I hope you appreciate her. I do. She was too Terrific at the rally. She always is. 
How are you doing? I'm doing great. Are you sure? Why shouldn't I be? You don't look right to me. Sister, I'm fine. Charlie, would you bring me $20 from the jar, please? It's only until payday. Ah, uh, not to worry. Now, what'd you do in school today? I learned a joke. You learned a joke? What joke? Cowboy. A cowboy joke? <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> well, you didn't say much at dinner. Nothing to say. I think it's clean. What's up? Why did you give Mary $20? Because she asked me for it. What about the man from the phone company? Well, who do you think needs that money more, Mary or Ma Bell? Don't you ever get scared? <laughs> the bastards haven't turned the phone up yet, have they? That doesn't mean they won't. I won't let them. I'm invincible, remember? Well, how are you going to stop them? By giving away more of our money to your friends so you can be a hero? Sorry. I didn't mean that. You listen to me. There's nothing that we Ryan women can't handle together. Nothing. What is that supposed to mean? It means Mama's going to take care of everything. Charlie, I want you to call Jennifer and go out to the mall. I can't. Sure you can. I've got homework to do. Well, I would feel much better if I knew you were having a good time. Mama, I don't know. Please, do it for me. Please. What time your daughter got home last night? What, Mama? It was after one. What was after one? Charlie didn't get in until one in the morning on a school night. I know. I was up. I want to finish this recall petition. I used to work 60 hours a week, took care of an invalid mother and a husband, and you, you were, were a never... wonderful mother. Don't be smart with me. What'd you ever want for? Let it be, Mama. If you were still married and Charlie had a father, she wouldn't be out till all hours. Couldn't stand John when I was married to him. That's not true. And I liked Andy's father, but you wouldn't marry him, would you? I didn't love him. 
Let's put our cards on the table. Nothing I ever do is right. Nothing is ever good enough, is it? Did you ever say to me, Peggy, boy, you've done a good job, or Peggy, how pretty you look, or, or Peggy, you know, I'm so proud to be your mother. Lots of times. Oh, funny. I never heard it. Did the best I could. We all do, Mama. We all do. See, we're playing the wise ass. You smoke? Yeah, I've been trying to stop for years. I'll have more willpower. You want to discuss this? No. I want to smoke cigarettes and sulk, okay? You want to sulk? You get your butt up to your room. Drive yourself crazy, not me. You want to discuss this? I'm here. I'm not graduating. Sorry. I'm not going to be able to work. We'll be fine. We haven't got any money, Mama. We'll get some. How? You hardly work. You get exhausted getting dressed in the morning. I'm going to be fine, and so are you. If taking care of Andy and helping around the house is too much for you. No, Mama, I can handle it. Of course you can. You're my daughter, right? You'll see, everything's gonna be okay. Not to worry, soon the money's gonna be rolling. <gasps> Mom! Mama! Stay a minute. She's still very weak. How long before she's okay? We finally diagnosed your mother's illness. She's suffering from a rare disease called polymyositis. What does that mean? It's a chronic condition in her immune system. It affects her muscles. From time to time, they'll break down, become weak. Is she dying? Uh, she survived this attack, but she'll have to be careful. She needs to be as stress-free as possible. Well, how long before she can work? Not in the foreseeable future. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry I scared you, baby. I saw the priest. <laughs> you didn't see me kick him out of the room, though, did you? I told him my daughter and I had lots of things to do. I was too busy to die. I'm going to be fine, baby. Oh, but Dr. Warren, he... Hi. Hi. Are you disturbing anything? No, no, Charlie and I were just making girl talk. Hi, hey, Charlie. Hi, hey, Daddy. How are you feeling? I like going dancing. Thought I'd take Charlie for dinner. Andy, he needs me. Your grandmother and your aunt are looking after him. Go. Oh. I'm not really hungry. Out. That's an order. I'll be here after dinner. That's a promise. <laughs> Thanks, John. 
Mm. Is that school? It's great. Yeah, Ellison's her best. That's nice. You know, we really have you over, sister. This new baby and all. We make him too old for this stuff. I understand. I'm kind of busy myself. I haven't been there for you. It wasn't because I didn't want to. Believe me. It's just that when two people get divorced. It's not a problem. Charlie, come on, I'm trying. Don't tell me it's not a problem. What do you want, Daddy? I want us to be like other fathers and daughters. You mean the kind that see each other more than once every four months? I love you, Charlie. Maybe someday you'll love me. I gotta get back to Mom. Helen and I thought it'd be a good idea if you come and stay with us so your mom gets home. Do you mean it? Yeah. Maybe you're in a room. Andy always likes going new places. Honey, Andy needs special care. I can't ask Helen with a new baby. Of course not. Charlie, he's not my son. It's good to know you haven't changed, Daddy. It's not like you and Mike are an item anymore, anyway. Besides, you'll still be here next year. I told you it was okay. Prom's not very important to me right now. My mom's real sick. She's gonna be coming home soon. You should see the dress my mother wants me to wear. She's not gonna be able to work. I picked out this black silk dress that is so hot. Do you even hear me? Your mom is going to be fine. She always is. Oh, I'm sorry, I gotta go. Last. It's only me. That was my last one. I heard about your mom. Sorry. Thanks. I lost my mom. I know what it feels like to be out there all alone. Well, I can handle it. Well, you know there's only one thing to do when life kicks you in the teeth. What's that? Party. I'm serious. Kim, you don't have to be poor. Can we join you, ladies? Sure. Lisa? It's all right, I know these guys. How's your mom feeling? How'd you know about my mother? Word gets around. Here, buy us some flowers. No, thanks. Oh, take it, it's a gift. Please, just What do you say? Lisa, let's go. Let's dance. She works for Frank. Now I get paid for what my mom let my stepfather take for free. I thought your mother was dead. She might as well be. You're a beautiful lady, Charlie. Oh, not. See, that's one of the reasons why you're so beautiful, because they don't think you are. You don't like a lot of these stuck-up women at home judge people. That makes you beautiful inside, too. That's good. I have to go now. Uh, can I give you a ride home? No, uh, Lisa has a car. Lisa's gonna be staying tonight. I'll take a cab. You can do what you want, kid. I just thought maybe I'd help to save the fare, you know? Why are you doing this? Because I like you. And maybe if I do nice things for you, you'll like me. That's the only reason? I was a boy scout once. For some reason, I don't believe that. It's because you don't know me.
Thanks for the ride. It's my pleasure. Here. What is it? It's a little, uh, it's a little chain that goes around your ankle. What's it for? For you. Here. No strings. Take it. Why? Because I think you're pretty. And I want us to become friends. Friends? I'm a good friend to have. Can I see you again? You want to date me? Absolutely. Why? You ask a lot of questions. Because I think that you're very special. I have to go now. Don't be mad. It's okay. You're worth waiting for. Here. I said, no strings. Doctor says I'm in remission. What does that mean? It means I'm getting better. Well, how long before you're okay? How's Andy? Grandma. Misses you. Oh. Well, I want to get him something special for dinner. So how about we stop at the market on the way home? Thank you. That sounds good. That's right, Mr. Werner. The check I gave you today won't clear. No, it won't clear tomorrow either. I have no money. I won't let my children starve. Yes, well, I've applied for welfare, but you know how the paperwork is. To put me in jail, of course, it'd make the papers. Yes, I agree. That's publicity neither one of us wants. Look, why don't you just let me pay you back $5 a week? How about that? OK. That's very generous of you. Thank you, Mr. Werner. I appreciate it. Bye. Ta-da! See, I told you, Mama, take care of everything. Charlie, where are you going? Out. Out where? To Jennifer's house. I wanted to invite some friends in for dinner. I'll need your help. I'll be here. Of course you will. What is it? Nothing. Trust your own mom, isn't it? Tell me about it. Well, you know she's been lying to you. Yeah, and I believe her. Well, it's the last time you're gonna make that mistake, isn't it? Well, I wish this wasn't the other day. You know what I wish for? What? This. There's a way out. No. Come on, now what's gonna happen to your little brother if your mom doesn't get better? I told you no before. I thought you liked me. I do, baby, I do. I, I, I'm just saying in six months, you'll have more money than you can dream about. But you're asking me to become a whore. I'm asking you to party a little bit and make a ton of money, sweetheart, a ton of money. We'll do it together, we'll be together. I can't. I can't. I can't. All right. All right. That's fine. 
I'll see you around again. Don't go. Don't go. I'm going to take you. I'm going to take you. I'm going to There you go, baby. This will straighten you out. There you go. Good girl. Take some more. I have all you need. Go ahead. Good girl. I... I couldn't do it. Oh, sure you can. I'd be scared. I'll be right there. I wouldn't let anything happen to you. Honest. Now, sooner or later, you're gonna have to take control of your own life. Your mommy's not gonna be around forever, you know. I'm not that kind of person. Oh, what kind of person is that? You're a guy. You wouldn't understand. I was 11 years old the last time my father got drunk and beat me. He broke my jaw. I didn't have the guts to kill him, so I ran away. And that's when I started tricking. I was 11 years old. So, so don't tell me what kind of person it takes, because I know. I'm sorry. Oh, don't be. See, that's when I took control of my own life. No, I don't need anybody. Let's go now. Charlie. I never told that to anyone before. You're very, very special to me, Charlie. I trust you. Now. You let me take care of you, okay? I love you. You know that, don't you? How's Jennifer? Fine. You want to talk about anything? I'm real tired. Why are you lying to me? I'm not lying. I'm just tired. Where were you tonight? I told you at Jennifer's house. I called Jennifer's house and you didn't come home for dinner. She tried to cover for you, but her mom got on the phone. I can't believe you were checking up on me. I want to know where you were and I want to know now. Why are you treating me like a criminal? I didn't do anything. You've been drinking. So? You're underage. I'm going to sleep. No, you're not. Stop playing the concerned mother because I don't buy it anymore. What are you talking about? Good night. You go up those steps and you're grounded for the month. As long as you live in this house, young lady, when I want to talk, you'll talk. Charlie. shoes? You're expensive, you know that? But I'm worth it. Mm. 
I could use some new clothes. Another time. You teach her good. Soon she'll be paying the bills. I don't know. It's just one of the rules. What do you say to a John? Um, hey, babe, you want a party? <laughs> Smile. Be sexy. You're not selling encyclopedias. Listen, let's get a drink first. I can't do it like this. I gotta be in the mood. Let's do these two. I can't. We'll get him to take us to a bar first. <laughs> Good evening, boys. Come on. Come here. What's taking so long? We'll be right out. I don't want to do this. We've already taken their money. Give it back to them then. Relax. Take another hit. These guys won't take long. We're going to have a good time. Charlie? It's me, Mama. Where have you been? Not now. We all have. Are you all right? Fine. I was with Mike. His parents are out of town. We had a fight. We broke up. It's no big deal. No big deal? You've been gone all night and all day, and you come home throwing your guts up, and it's no big deal? Where'd you get these clothes? At the mall. How'd you get the money to pay for them? I worked overtime. You're lying to me again. Why can't you believe anything I say? Because it doesn't make any sense. I swear I'm telling you the truth. Are you dealing drugs? No. Charlie, I can't help you if you won't let me. Mama, I don't want your help. What? I can take care of myself. Dirty. Little soap and water take care of everything. I couldn't kiss him. Don't worry. A few more days, it won't bother you. She's a teenager. She disappears for days. Comes home with all kinds of stories. What do you want me to do? I want you to be a father and get involved in your daughter's life. Involved in her life? I would have been more involved in her life if you would have let me. Don't lay that on me. 
Why? Because it's true? I didn't come here to talk about ancient history. So it's the same as it always is. What do you want to do and talk about what you want to talk about? You could have said something, John. I tried. You don't hear. Anyway, you can't argue with somebody else. Only adoring fans. Will you speak with her? What can I say to her? She can't stand to be in the same room with me. And whose fault is that? Oh, mea culpa. Mea maxima culpa. I'll call her for dinner next week. I meant today. I'll try. I hope to God I can find her. Would you get out of my room, please? There must be a couple of thousand dollars worth of clothes here. You have no right to go through my things. Where'd you get them? I told you. Don't waste your time telling me that you've been working overtime at the shoebox. I checked. You haven't been there in weeks. What is this, the Inquisition? I got another job. Where and doing what? Cocktailing at Club Hollywood, this is what they give us to wear. You're not old enough, Charlie. I have a fake ID. You're going to take these back and you're quitting today. No, I'm not. This is not up for discussion. That's right. It's not. See you around, Mama. Just thinking about you. I can't put on my makeup. No way. But we need the money. Friends have seen her. You keep running around like this, you're going to kill yourself. My daughter is gone. I'm not going to stay home in bed. Where do we look? Anywhere she might be. You're tired. Tomorrow's another day. If you want to go, I'll call a cab. In your condition? How could she do this to us? I'm beginning to wonder what we've done to her. Hi, boy. Joey's waiting for you. So let him wait. Give me another thing. You know you're not supposed to be here without him. What are two beautiful women like you doing here without a date? Make us an offer. I think we're leaving. Not yet. These aren't the kind of guys you pay for. Oh, but they're so cute. Whoa, Charlie, you look incredible. You couldn't afford me. Hey, babe. Want a party? 
Yeah, the mother. You want Peggy? It's a boy named Mike. It's about Charlie. Oh yeah, there we go. Hey Andy. Hi. Come here. Give me a hug. Tired old mama. Make some tea. How are you? Hello, Mike. No, we couldn't find her. What? You don't know how glad I am to hear you say that. Well, how is she? The corner of Lincoln and Wayne after eight. What's she doing there? Mike? Rapping. I don't see her. This is where the prostitutes work. That doesn't mean anything, Mama. I hope not. Maybe Mike was wrong. You want to go? Not yet. I'm getting out. What is it? Sorry, I was up all night. Maybe I shouldn't have come here, but I, I didn't want to wake Helen and the baby at home. Well, what is it? Charlie's. Charlie's. What? What's happened to her? She'd been gone for a couple of days. And then this old boyfriend of hers, Willie, called telling me where to look for her. Did you find her? Well, talk to me. Peggy? She's a prostitute. I saw her getting out of a man's car. Excuse me, Professor Franco. It's my birthday today. Can I leave early? Sure. She has a new boyfriend. She was kissing and fondling him. He's older than you. Sure about this? Uh oh. What do we do now? Perhaps you should sit down, Mrs. Ryan. I'm fine. I'm a psychiatrist, not a neurologist, but it isn't difficult to see that you're not a well woman. Doctor, I'm as good as I, I can be right now. My daughter is selling her body to strangers, and I want to know why. You're asking me to make a diagnosis without a patient. <laughs> I'm not going to sue you if you're wrong. Help me. Please. I would be more comfortable if you would sit down. How can I bring her back home? You can't. It seems to me that even though she won't admit it to herself, she's angry at you for getting sick in the first place. And from what I can gather, she probably has great feelings of inadequacy because she can't make everything right for you and her brother. Are you saying that I'm responsible? I'm saying that your daughter did not go out on the street without a reason.
But I love my daughter. I'm sure you do. That's not the point. Somewhere along the line, she didn't get the message. Mrs. Ryan, believe me, I wish there was something that I could do for your daughter. Go out on the street and get her. Arrest her. Bring her home. We can get the judge to remand her to my custody. Is she over 18? Just. That wouldn't do any good. She's on her own. We bust her. She pays a $50 fine. Within a couple of hours, she's back on the streets. Maybe after multiple offenses... Are you telling me that it is illegal for my daughter to buy a drink, but it's okay for some pimp to degrade her and sell her body? That's right. I want to see your superior. He'll tell you the same thing. There is no law that's going to make your daughter come home. You sit there and tell me there is nothing I can do to save my daughter. You can pray. Oh, I'll do that. And you can go to hell. Mrs. Ryan. My daughter does not belong with the animals. Nobody's daughter does. If I see her on the street, I'll try to keep an eye on her. As long as you can get her home within the first six weeks, you've got a chance of keeping her there. And after that... Who can I get to help? Nobody's going to do anything for your daughter. I can't believe that. I've been a social worker for 11 years. With crack and coke, the situation is out of control. My daughter's a child. As long as they stay where they're supposed to, nobody gives a damn. You want your daughter? Throw a rope over her head and drag her home. I'm your brother, Peggy. I'm a middle-aged, overworked CPA. How the hell am I supposed to know how to kidnap somebody? We'll hire someone to lead her away. Peggy. No, I've planned this all out. I've been working on it for a week. All I need is a few hundred dollars in a van. Are you listening to yourself? Look, we isolate her so nobody else gets involved. We stop lookouts. Then we get a John to drive her down an alley and dump her out of the car. We drive up in the van. Wait a minute. This is crazy. OK, say it works. We get her home. How are you going to keep her here? I bought hospital restraints. We'll tie her to her bed. You can't tie her up forever. We'll talk with her and we'll cry with her and maybe she'll forgive us. Oh, forgive us for what? Oh, Mama, we expected so much of her. She's just a kid. She's just a baby. She's out there because she's angry at us. At me. Well, come on. You can't blame yourself. Who else am I to blame, John? I'm her mother. You had Andy. You were sick. Yes, I had a lot of great excuses. Burning issues, major causes. The world needed saving. I was the one to do it, but I didn't save the world, did I? I lost a daughter. Hey, help me, please. Amen. Like hell you are. It's out of the question. Okay, John, forget for the moment that you're up for tenure at the university and kidnapping Charlie will send your career down the toilet. This could be dangerous for all of us, including your daughter. Anything could happen. John, let's be there for her this time. Uh, I get the van. What about your wife, your new baby? Think about them, for God's sake. You coming? You're all insane. Peggy, think how much you're asking. Herb, how much is your niece's life worth to you? Blessed Mother, I'm afraid. Not for me, but for my family. I've told them not to worry that I've thought and planned, and they believe me. Don't let me fail. Protect my family. 
Let us bring Charlie home. Bless us. Guide us, O oh Holy Mother. I may have lost faith in myself, but my faith in you is everlasting. You boys looking for a good time? Maybe. Well, I'm the best there is. Anything you want, you got it. But there's two of us. Well, that's not a problem, honey. I got lots of friends. Hey, boys. I love the party with you. Your friend's cute, too. This is Lisa. You boys are mine, aren't you? They can go with whoever they want. Hey, get over here. Listen, bitch. These tricks are mine. What in the hell do you think you're doing calling your friend over here? I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. I know you? <laughs> no. I didn't think so. I need someone to help me kidnap my daughter. What was that? I want you to help me kidnap my daughter. It's $350 in it for you. This is a joke, right? No joke. She's out on the street. She's a prostitute. I want you to lead her down an alley so her family can kidnap her. Lady, I'm just a guy out looking for a good time. We're going to take her home. Look, I'm sorry. You got the wrong guy. She doesn't know you. She, she won't suspect anything. It'll be easy. Lady, I don't know who you are, but I got a wife and two kids. But there won't be any trouble for you. <sighs> no, really. Uh, Please. She's my daughter. She's going to die out there. Look at me. Do you believe that my daughter is on the street? If you say so. Well, can you think about how desperate I am? Uh -huh. Now, imagine that it was your daughter. So he wants me to go to Bermuda with him. What'd you say? I told him to talk to Joey. He looking for me? You, mm -hmm. with a red jacket. Hi, honey. Get in. It's $50. Anything special, we negotiate, and nothing happens to the cash hits my hand. Fine by me. Around the corner. What's the matter, baby? 
baby something wrong? Nothing. Turn left. Look, turn around or I'm getting out. Don't. Look, I'm not weird or anything. I just... I just want to pick up my truck. It's right around the corner. Sorry, baby. I'm out of here. Stop the car. <laughs> I hate you. She saved your life. Nobody asked her to. Now untie me. Charlie, I'm so sorry. God, give a damn what you are. I'm sorry that I got sick. I'm sorry that I told you everything was going to be all right when it wasn't. I thought that I was... I wanted to be there for you, but I didn't see. I didn't know. I, w I thought that I knew. Maybe you're right, you know, maybe... I wanted to be more of a hero to my friends than I was a mother to you, but please forgive me. I love you so much. You liar! I will never lie to you again, Charlie. I promise you. Please don't do this to yourself because you're angry at me. Tell me, what can I do? How can I make it right? I want you to get out of my face. I like doing it with strangers, and you know what? I'm damn good at it. I'll always love you, Charlie. Oh, you make me want to puke. We'll get through this. You disgusting cripple! Get out of my room! Shh, stop. Don't hurt yourself. Get out of here! And tie me! All right. Shh. I hate you! I'm going. I'll you always bitch. love you. I'll always love you, Charlie. I hate you, Mama. Do you hear me? I hate you! I still can't believe we actually pulled it off. She's like a different girl. No, it's not her. It's the drugs. We'll have somebody stay with her all the time now, and in a few days we'll have our Charlie back again. I hope so. I hate you all! Thanks, sir. Thanks. What are big brothers for? I've got to go home and get some sleep. Uh-huh. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh -huh. Good night, Mama. Good night, dear. Mama. Better go get some sleep. Oh, I'm fine. I will need you well rested if you're going to help me tomorrow. Well, you make sure you get some rest, too. Uh-huh. I'll stay on the couch if it's okay. I'd like that. Why is she still screaming? She's hurt and she's angry. Funny, she never cried when she was a baby. Making up for it now, I guess. We really do, sir. She's our daughter. We helped. We hope we'll be married forever. You wanted the divorce. You filed. Come on. What do you mean? I'm sorry. Maybe I did hurt you. Lord knows I hurt her. 
I can't go back and make it right for us, but maybe we can make it right for her. I'll get the sheets. Charlie. Let me loose, Daddy. Some uh, uh, fresh squeezed juice, coffee, hotcakes. I don't want any damn food. I want out. You hurt yourself. A lot you care. I care. That's a joke. Is that why you were never around? I wanted to be around more. We'd have a great time the way we got it. Remember? And I'd always have to drop you off, leave you. It was... It... Yeah. You know what I mean? I used to sit by the window waiting for you to come. After a while, I convinced myself you were dead. Why else wouldn't you be there? I mean, you had to love me, right? I was your daughter. I tried, but... I'm not finished. Then you'd soap with the doll and everything would be all right. You know? I guess that's when I started being a whore. Enough experimenting, Mr. Scientist. Wait. Now's the time to eat. All right. Good boy. Mm -hmm. Shh. You're my like Charlie. Yes, just a minute. These men are from the police. They want to talk to you. Oh, what about? Detective Olson, uh, Detective Garcia. Do you know a uh, Charlene Ryan? Yes, she's my daughter. Do you know where she is? Um, I, uh, I haven't seen her in days. We received an anonymous call that she was kidnapped last night. Kidnapped? Oh, the caller said that you and uh, some other members of your family did it and uh, are hiding her against her will. Oh, detective, somebody must be pulling your leg. Oh, we were here all last night, weren't we, Mama? All night. <laughs> Mind if we look around? Only if you have a warrant. We don't have to be adversaries. We just have to make sure she's safe. She is. So you did take her. I didn't say that. Mrs. Ryan, believe me, it'll be easier all around if you cooperate. Why don't you drop down the station this afternoon? We'll take your statement. Is that around three? All right. Now, who in your family helped you? It was my idea. Hey, this is just the fun one. Technically, what you did was against the law. But 
there's also the spirit of the law. Nothing's going to happen to them. And why do I have to know who they were? For the paperwork. I'm sorry. I'm afraid that's not good enough. Where is Charlene now? We're on your side. If more parents cared about their kids as much as you did, our jobs would be a lot easier. She's at home, locked in her room. <clears throat> Where are you going? Get some coffee. You want a cup? No, thanks. Um, we're not quite finished. Yes, we are. You lied to me. He's going for a search warrant. You committed a felony. If you're going to arrest me, arrest me. If not, get out of my way. Hi. Hi. Alex. I love you. Oh, thank you, darling. Come here, Alex. been betrayed. Mama, get on the phone to all the TV stations. Tell them the police are about to break into our house. The police are coming? Oh, they're getting a warrant. Okay. How's Charlie? Still angry. What'd you tell them? Everything. Alex, you think you could take Andy over to your house Hello? for the night? Sure. Uh, Great. When do you think you get here? Well, as soon as they can. You don't have to stay. I'll stay. What about Helen? She'll understand. All right, you two go around back. And we don't want to take any chances. We don't know if they are armed. Why aren't you sticking me? Detective Wilson, Mrs. Ryan. Well, what do we do? I don't know. Do you have a warrant? In my hand. Open the door. You said you understood. You can't imprison someone against their will. Now let us in. There won't be any trouble. I don't believe you. You can trust me. You're a liar. You and whoever else is in there are in serious trouble. Now open the damn door or I'll kick it in. Should we call a SWAT team? To arrest a disabled woman and a grandmother? You have any guns? Guns? You've been watching too much television. There's a door around here. Search the place. Anybody gets in your way, arrest them. You have no right. Lady, this gives me the right. Now put your butt in a chair. Oh, hey, you can't talk to her like sit that. Sit down. Who the hell do you think you are? Sit down. You know, if you're drinking, I smell it on your breath. Sit down, all of you. Now, this isn't a damn game. You're facing a serious lawsuit, all of you. What's your badge number? You're facing five years in jail. She was tied up in her bed. She's on her way down. Uh, well, I know where her pimp is. Why don't you arrest him? I wouldn't worry about arresting anybody else. You've got your own problems. Char Charlie, please, don't go. Honey, I'll do anything. Honey, please. I know you're angry. You're taking her downtown for a statement. Once we get it, we're coming back for you. Yeah, and where will she go after the statement? Anywhere she wants. She'll go back to her pimp. Irish curse on you and your children's children. She'll die out there. Oh, it's her business. Her. She's an adult. She's a baby. Please. God, don't. 
take her! Oh, in God's name, don't take her! Look, there's nothing I can do! But I'll give you a piece of advice. Get yourself a good lawyer. You're all gonna need it. Is that good? Come oh, on, she's cool, Detective, guys. can you tell us what's going on, please? Police investigation. What kind? No comment. Detective Olsen has just broken into the house and made off with our daughter. Any reply, sir? No. I love you. Charlie, we all love you. Did you kidnap and forcibly restrain her? Yes. Do you think you'll go to jail? That's up to the police. It's a sick world when parents are sent to jail for trying to save their children. <sighs> what I did may have been against the law of the state, but to do nothing would be against God's law. Why do you think she became a prostitute? I know that she was depressed about my illness and very worried about our making our way. Are you aware that in most of these cases there's been some kind of physical or sexual abuse in the home? I never hit Charlie. Why isn't your husband here? We're divorced. He has another family. Did your divorce have anything to do with his relationship to Charlene? No. Was there anything sexual in their relationship? Oh, that's a disgusting question. Charlie's father loves her in a very real and a very wholesome way. You've been divorced a long time. 14 years. Have you ever had any boyfriends? Yes, I've had boyfriends. Did they molest my daughter? No. Did I parade them in front of her in a lascivious manner? No, I did not. Then how did you account for your daughter becoming a hooker? I don't know. What do you think of the police's action? I think it's criminal and I think it's sickening. They took my daughter from her home and they put her out on the streets. Now, is that justice? I know it's not moral. Well, what are you going to do now? Find her. I'm going down to the Tenderloin tonight at 8 and every night thereafter until she comes home. And I want to say to anyone who might like to help, please come and join me. My Charlie is not the only child out there being degraded and abused. There are others. Maybe yours. Please help me. Just been on the phone with the DA about the Ryan case. Yeah, I got the arrest warrants right here. Burn them. What? We've received hundreds of calls in support of Mrs. Ryan. The DA does not want to press charges. Hey, tell me something. You will dump those papers, and then you and Trask will make yourselves available to Mrs. Ryan when they search for her brother. Seven. How much more time do you want me to waste on this case? It's an order. It's five after eight and no one else is here. I guess we better get started. Are you serious about coming down here every night to try and find her? I am. It'd take an army to search these streets. I'll do it alone if I have to. But she doesn't want to come home. She will. All right, we'll see you there, ma'am. Thank you. Sister Eva, we're here to help. Thank you. We're with you, Peggy. <laughs> We're going to find her Janice. We get some more back here? Here you go. 
Mr. Frankel, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi. Thank you. Stay on TV with a mayor. You look great. Oh, I look terrible. I just want some coffee, please. I don't think I've had more than a couple of hours sleep since this whole thing started. You and Charlie becoming celebrities. Tomorrow morning, I'm going national on TV. Tomorrow afternoon, they're sending a reporter from the Times. Big story. John, you would be amazed at the number of children who are out there on the streets. I have parents calling me night and day, asking how I can find their kids. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing. It's just always battling against windmills. You ever think about after she comes home? Of course. Well, how's she gonna feel? It's not gonna be easy for her, you know? The whole world knows she's been a prostitute. How's she gonna make a life? Well, she'll be embarrassed. She'll get over it. Oh, will she? She's not you. My life's falling apart. I can't teach. I'm sure they're not gonna give me tenure. I'm afraid to go to sleep. I keep dreaming about her out there. All these pictures running through my head. I want to smoke a cigarette. John, right now I don't give a damn about your future, her future, or my future. All I want to do is bring her home. And you think that this is a national problem? Yes, that's why I started MAP. These pimps are raping and killing our children, and we're letting them do it. We have to open our eyes, not look away. I mean, these are our babies, our future. And where do you think your daughter is now? Somewhere on the street. Um... Here's a picture of my daughter. Her name is Charlie. If you see her, would you please call me at 555-9897. Thank you, Mrs. Ryan. Everyone at KBOL wishes you good luck. Thank you, David. And Charlie, if you're out there, come home. Your mother loves you. Have you seen Charlie? I don't know anybody named Charlie. Think you're lying. You please leave me alone. Where is she? I swear I'd tell you if I knew. I'll pay you to find her. Maybe you are gonna get me killed. Every time you come out on the streets, I go home with nothing, and this is what I get. Sorry. You please go away. Come on, Mama. Have you seen my daughter? I want you out of here now. Do you understand me? Or you are going to be in a world of hurt. This is public property. Yeah, like hell it is. You get your hands off of her. Back off! Mama, she's not hurting me. Just let her be. And you are breathing down my neck. And I don't like it. And my old man, he don't like it either. You understand me? Do you understand me? I should have seen it out there tonight with a zoo. I'm sorry, babe. Nobody is making a dime. Why didn't she mind her own business? She's my mother. Yeah. She wants me back. What do you want, baby? I don't know. Oh, I love you so much. I'm gonna take a bath. You know, she's costing people a lot of money. Unless she doesn't stop, there's going to be trouble for everybody. What's that supposed to mean? It means she's going to get hurt. That's what it means. Well, you can't let them. How the hell am I supposed to? I can't stop them. They're your friends. This is not about friendship. It's about money, young lady. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're doing okay, aren't we, sweetheart? We're doing great. Right. We're doing great. So you tell your mother that you want to stay with me, okay? She won't listen. Make her listen for her own good, okay? All right. Why you be a good girl? Oh, Ma. 
Mama. Am I doing the right thing? Now's a hell of a time to ask. What if I'm the cause of something happening to her? The only chance she has of ever coming back is if you bring her back. You're doing the right thing. You have reached 555-9897. If you have any news, please leave your message. Mama! Mama! They're gonna hurt me if you don't stop! Charlie! Charlie! Sounds gonna be good this, baby. It's no money. I'm tired of running. Don't worry, nobody's gonna bother us here. Let's get a cab. Yo! What are we gonna do? Don't worry. Everything's gonna be okay. Joey's gonna take care of everything. That's my job, sweetheart. We're running out of money. Honey, trust me, please. We're gonna be rich. You look so beautiful right now. I'm so tired. Okay, you rest. Go to sleep. I love you very, very much. And I promise I'll never do anything to hurt you, okay? Don't worry, I'm not a cop. I'm a reporter. I've got nothing to say. I followed you from your motel. This is my third city in five days. Just give me five minutes. You've been looking for me? Your big news. Doesn't pay the bills. We want to do a live broadcast of a conversation between you and your mom. No thanks, I got nothing to say to her. It'll be on national television. You get her off your back forever. I'll think about it. It's 10 minutes. I don't want her to know where I am. I'll be in touch. Why can't you tell me where she is? Because we made a deal with your daughter. Well, look, how do you know that she's going to stay where she is? Because Byron is staying at the same motel with her. Who? All of our reporters. Um, does he have children? He has a six-year-old son. Why? Because a parent will, uh, will treat her gentler. Then you'll do it? Yes. I will set up tomorrow afternoon. Okay. Mrs. Ryan, I wish I could tell you where she was. Yes, is a Mr. Byron there, please? Oh, well, this is the nurse at his son's school. The boy has a slight fever, and um, we uh, need to send him home, but I can't reach Mr. Bryan. Can you... Mr. Byron, right. Can you, uh... Can you tell me how I can get a hold of him? 816-555-2524. Thank you very much. God bless. Did you say the Crestview Motel? Where are you located, please? I think you're acting crazy. I'm going, Mama. She doesn't want to come home. I have to do this. Well, take somebody with you. No, this is between Charlie and me, nobody else. But you're not well. And the people she's with are dangerous. She's my baby. And you're mine. I don't want to see you hurt anymore. I love you, Mama.
first time, isn't it? Ah, hell, we can uh, Yes, ma'am. Don't worry. I'll take good care of you, boys. <laughs> I don't understand why we couldn't go to a motel, though. Oh, uh, don't worry. Nobody comes here on weekdays. Besides, this way you can make some of the room money. Well, not that I don't trust you fellows, but uh, before anything happens, I get paid. Oh, uh, sure, yeah. Sure. Get her back. This is all you got. What the hell are you doing? Shut up! What's the matter? I thought boys were supposed to like this kind of thing. <laughs> I'll kill him. Forget it. Gone. I'll find him. Sorry, I'm sorry. Sweetie, maybe something's broken. I'll be okay. No, you should go to a doctor. Don't tell me, don't tell me. I'm scared. Mama's gonna take you home. She doesn't want to go home, Mama. I wasn't talking to you, Pimp. You tell her, sweetheart. Tell her to leave us alone. Mama. She knows that I love her very much. He doesn't love you, Charlie. Yes, he does, Mama. He takes care of me. Look at yourself. Is this how he takes care of you? No, but it wasn't his fault. It was mine. I shouldn't have cried. Charlie, it's not your fault. It has never been your fault. The truth is, he's lying to you, just like I've always lied to you. I told you that I'd take care of everything, that everything would be all right, didn't I? Well, I couldn't do it then, and I can't now, but you can. You're bright. You're pretty. I can't. I can't do it. Charlie, he will send you back out where it can happen again, and you might not come back next time. He is using you as a meal ticket. Baby, please, you tell her that I love you, okay? Come on. Come on, let's get you dressed. Charlie, we're supposed to get married. Look at him, Charlie. Look at him. He is a pimp. He's a parasite. He makes his living off your body. You deserve better, baby. Come home. I swear to you, I promise you, I won't send you out anymore, okay? Charlie, please don't leave me. I can't make it without you, baby. Yep, these are definitely dancing shoes. My good dancer. You're a great dancer. I got you home. Me too. <laughs> the press is waiting. I don't think I can face them. Not going to be easy. I'm not going to tell you it is. Want me to try and make them go away? I'm just, I'm so ashamed. It's going to hurt for a long time. But we'll talk and we'll get help. Won't hurt forever. But I was a whore. So was Mary Magdalene. 